Uh, so, that's where they are. So if you've been following along, that's where you're going to need to get them from. Um, going to find a screw. That one's too big. Um, going to go ahead and extract these nuts. Going to use a Allen wrench from the back. Going to push on them here. And it's not as easy as it looks because the little puppies are in there. Woo! There's one. And put this into the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just using an Allen wrench from the back side and pushing on it to get them out. So, we now have two nuts where we then had none. Okay, so the first part we're going to do is go ahead and insert the bearings into the front wheel hub, hub carrier. And if you look on the front, there's an opening for one, and on the back, there's an opening for another. Um, before we use the bearing press on this, I like to just see if I can get them in by hand. Um, they, they're a tight fit, um, so we may or may not have to use the press. So we're going to go ahead and set the bearing on there and evenly just distribute weight with our fingers to see if we can walk the bearing in or use the palm of your hand. Let's see if I can do this. Doing stuff in front of the camera is a little difficult sometimes. It's, I call it porn position because you have to get yourself into unnatural angles to do this. But these are not going in by hand. So what we're going to do is use the bearing press tool. Going to take the second, we're going to leave that one in there. Going to take the second one and drop it in the back side. And it's not wanting to push or seat all the way in. So what we're going to do is grab our bearing press and we're going to go from the back side with the part that has the screw through it and it seats down into the bearing just like so and then we're going to take the wing portion that has the nut in it and we're going to go ahead and screw that on from the front and as you can see we're just going to screw it and you're going to have to hold the back with your wrench and go ahead and just gently screw and it's going to seat the bearings in just like so you're going to go ahead and screw it in until it's tight you don't want to over tighten it but if you take a look um, you can see that the bearing is recessed down just even with the front if you look down in the back, it's kind of hard to see anything. So let's go ahead and remove our bearing press here. I have to quit dropping stuff. Or simply just hold the back with the Allen wrench and go ahead and uh, remove the winged portion of the press. Slide the second portion out from the back. Let's go ahead and inspect the wheel hub, make sure that the bearings are all in straight and proper and all nice and flush and that they're, they're working smoothly. Let's go ahead and do this again on the second side. Um, we're going to do this a little different. We're going to put the bearing on the press first. We're going to slide that into the back portion. I'm going to go ahead and drop the bearing down on the front. screw on the bearing press make sure everything's lined up properly and screw it in just like so and at some point it's actually going to uh, become difficult to turn snug it up, you don't want to break the wrench which are the uh, bearing press tool which I've done in the past by trying to put it on too hard and just want to make sure that the bearings are seated evenly inside. Go ahead and take our bearing press out and just so that we don't lose any parts I like to put it back together again and stick it back into our tool bag. Drop 
pop it back in there so we know where to find it next time. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and install the hub into the hub carrier. Go ahead and grab a hub. Go ahead and grab a carrier. It doesn't matter which one. On the carrier you have the threaded portion where the wheel goes on and then the wheel hex and on the inside portion this is what rides inside the bearing and then you have an area for a C-clip here. I'm going to go ahead and slide that on through and you're going to see that there is an area where we're going to slide the existing C-clip over. So we're going to go ahead and drop the C-clip down inside and again I'm going to let you laugh at me while I put this on. C-clips are either the easiest thing or the hardest thing to do. So we're going to line that up. We're going to use our needle nose pliers here. See if you can get a view of this. Get back into porn position here. It's not easy to do this and look at the camera at the same time. So we'll hold it down here where you can see it maybe. Okay. Going to go ahead and squeeze that. And it goes right on just like so. Um, what you're going to want to do as well is hold on to the hub. You're going to want to rotate that. Make sure it's on and in that groove just the way you want it. Let's go ahead and test it. And we can see that the uh, bearing runs nice and smooth inside of there. One of the things that I look at with this is that there is an amount of play that goes in and out here. So what I am going to do, I'm not going to do it right now, um, I'm going to do it on a separate tutorial, is Team Fast Eddie offers a shim kit. And that shim kit has 30 separate shims, 10 of each size. We have an extremely thin, a medium, and a thicker shim. And what we're going to want to do is stack those shims on the inside so that there is a minimal amount of play on here without it binding up. And that will actually help this from coming apart and falling off later on down the road. Let's go ahead and insert the second one. Going to go ahead and drop that on in. Flip it over. Going to look at our C-clip to see which is the rounded side and which is the jagged side. We're going to put the rounded side down against the bearing. Going to go ahead and use our needle nose, and we're going to pop that C clip on, just like so. We're going to go ahead and spin it just to make sure that it's locked in there and seated all the way down, which it is. Spins freely. We do have an amount of play in there. Let me hold this up so you can see that play I'm talking about. And we're going to go ahead and shim that out later on in a separate tutorial on how to, how to shim them. Um, if you do have a package of Team Fast Eddie shims, now is a great time to do it. The third portion is going to be the screw holder set. Those are the little piece that we took off the tree. I'm going to go ahead and press the nuts down inside. You can use your nut pressing tool, um, which we went over before, or you can go ahead and insert these however you would like to do it. I'm going to go ahead and just put them in with my fingers. These ones are not that tight. And then they get inserted into this portion of the hub carrier. 